with our other presentation, our other classes that we have, we really encourage you to use your observation skills as this animal is going to be coming out. And those are going to be having questions like things that you notice, things that you wonder, things maybe that you're reminded of. And I'm going to be sharing information with you based on what you're observing and the things that you want to know. So this is Fernando, everybody. Fernando is four years old. And does anyone have any guess as to what kind of animal, he's gonna come smell my shoes and my pants, what kind of animal Fernando is? Don't or maybe forget, he reminds you of something. Type in the chat, oh, we're seeing anteater, aardvark, anteater question mark, aardvark. Great. That is great. We got some people who have some great prior knowledge about this animal and some of you were right on. So this is called a lesser anteater or a tamandua and lesser anteater because maybe you've seen in the more common ones we see are those giant anteaters they're gray really big we have one at the at the san diego zoo i believe and so this is going to be that smaller cousin so this is a southern lesser anteater or tamandua and there he goes showing off some of his amazing adaptations but you're getting a great view of some of those adaptations that he has that maybe will give you some clues as to the type of habitat that you can see. And you're gonna to get to see one of the famous ones that maybe you would expect to see with an anteater that about 16 inch long tongue, imagine your entire arm, fingertip to elbow was a tongue. And I'm sure some of you maybe are seeing what he's eating. This is just part of his food. Is anyone noticing the type of uh, food? What kind of category this would fall under for my friend, uh, Fernando here? Uh, we've got a few people saying they feel bad for the worms. They're super. I feel bad for the worms. <laughs> worms? Question mark. Yeah, we we know this is one of the very rare occurrences where we have an animal who's eating some live food, and those are going to be these mealworms here. We don't do it very frequently, but these are one of the ones that there's just kind of no other way to do it. And for my insectivore friend here, which is the type of animal. Uh, Fernando is, which means he's an insect eater. It's really important to keep him healthy and give him positive welfare. So I'm just trying to help him see where this nice tube is. There we go. We'll see if he'll stand up with it to give you a really good view of that tongue there. So I'm going to go ahead and send it back over to our amazing host here at Arts Bus Express. We're so excited to have the opportunity to be able to share these animals and some of our amazing programs at both locations with students across San Diego because we are really passionate about what we do and we hope to inspire that passion in those students as well. Mm -hmm.